Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 4 mathematics class. So in the previous classes, we learned about the subtraction of 5 and 6 digit numbers. In this class, we will learn about some properties of subtraction. Let's see the first property, the property of 0. It says that if 0 is subtracted from a number, the difference is the number itself. When we are actually subtracting a, num a 0 from a number, we are not practically subtracting anything from the given number. So let's see that with an example. 75,633 minus 0. Let's subtract the ones. 3, three ones minus 0 ones is 3 itself. 3 minus 0 is 3 itself. Now 3 bringing all the other digits down we get the same number itself. So any number let it be 1, 2, 3, 4 any number 1 minus 0, 2 minus 0, 25 minus 0 any number minus 0 gives the number itself as the difference. That's the property of 0. Now the property of 1 it says that if 1 is subtracted from any number the difference is the predecessor of the given number. So we have learned about predecessor in our first chapter. What is predecessor? Predecessor is the number that comes right before a given number. So how do we find the number that comes before a given number? Or how do we find the previous number to a given number? We just subtract one from the given number, right? So when we subtract one from any number, the difference that we get is actually the predecessor of the given number. Let's see that with an example. So 64,577 minus 1. What is 7 minus 1? It is 6. Now bringing all the other digits down, you get 64,576 which is the predecessor of 64,577. Hence the property is verified. Now the third property says that when you are subtracting a number from that number itself, the result will always be 0. See, for example, you have the number 5, you are subtracting 5 from 5. So 5 minus 5 means you are taking away the whole 5 from the given 5. Is there anything left? No, right? So here is one more example. 83,762 minus 83,762. You are subtracting this from this. 2 minus 2 or you are taking away 2 from 2. Nothing is left. 0. Again 0, 0, 0, 0. So when you subtract any number from the number itself, the difference will always be 0. Now we will do an activity now. Look into page number 28. You can see exercise 2.5. There are two questions in the exercise. You have to do both the questions. You can pause the video, finish the exercise and come back. Hope you finished writing the answers. Now let's check the answers. Fill in the blanks. Question A, 65,432 minus zero. Uh, from the property of zero of subtraction, we know any number minus zero is the number itself. So for this one, the answer is 65,432. 32 itself. Now question B. 1,25,126 minus 1. So any number minus 1 gives the difference which is the predecessor of the given number. So without actually subtracting, we can directly write the answer as 1,25,125. Now question C. 22,567 minus 22,567 number minus number. What is the difference here? Any number minus the number itself gives the difference equal to 0. Now D 45,623 minus dash equal to 45,623. We don't know what is the subtrahend here or what number was subtracted but look at the difference. Is there any change to the difference from the minimum? No. The, the difference is the minimum itself. So for a number to remain the same, what should be subtracted from it? It is 0. So any number minus 0 gives you the number itself. So that 0 is the answer. Now question E dash minus 
88,373 equal to 0. We know that any number minus that number itself gives the difference equal to 0. So what should come here? It should be 88,373. Now question F dash minus 1 equal to 93,837. So we know any number minus 1 gives you the predecessor of the given number. So we are given the difference here and from, uh, uh, from the answer one was subtracted to get this difference. So what should come here? This plus 1 should be the answer that, that should come here, right? So what is the, what was the number that comes after this one? It should be 93,838. So the minus 1 will give you 93,837. Now question G. 98,045 minus 98,045. Number minus number itself. Gives you the difference equal to 0. Now question H. 99,999 minus 1. So the answer should be the predecessor of the given number. It should be 99,998. Now let's move on to question number 2. Subtract the following using the properties of subtraction. Let's say the first one, 56,234 minus 0. Any number minus 0 gives you the number itself as the difference. So the answer here is 56,234 itself. Now question B, 4,25,693 minus the number itself. What should be the answer? It should be 0. Now. Question C, 83,735 minus 1. The difference should be the predecessor of this given number. So what could be the answer? The answer should be 83,734. Now question D, 5,96,742 minus dash equal to 0. So for the difference to be 0, what should be subtracted from this number? That number itself, right? So the answer here is 5,96,742. I hope your answers are correct. We were learning about the different properties of subtraction today. We have also done the exercise. So I hope the concept is clear to you now. So that's all for today. We'll meet in the next class. Until then, bye.